Hi, welcome to MPS. My name is Cecilia and I am part of the MPS Now team. Today, we are going to unbox the MP2629 Evaluation Board Kit. I'll be going through the graphic user interface and some of the key features of this part. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the contents of the box and what you would receive. There is one EV2629 Evaluation Board, one I2C Communication Kit, and all of the relevant wires to connect the kit from your computer to your evaluation board. Next, let's take a look at the features of the MP2629 and its graphic user interface. Some of the key features of the MP2629 is that it is a 4.5 amp, 1.5 megahertz book charger with I2C capabilities to read and write to certain registers. It has a USB on-the-go adjustable output with up to three amps. This is great for battery applications and any portable devices. Here on the input of the evaluation board, I have a micro USB cable with a voltage and current reader powered by a wall adapter. Let's connect that. We're giving five volts into the board and the LED one is giving a blinking indication that charging to the battery is suspended because the battery is not connected. I also have an electronic load box connected to the V-SYS pin. On the GUI, I have control of the different registers. I can also access the full registers list here if you prefer to adjust to each bit instead of using the drop-down menu. Let's connect the I2C kit to our laptop. At the bottom of the GUI, you can see that the connection has been established. Let's add one amp to our load box and turn on the load. Now I'm going to adjust the VN minimum voltage to be above 5 volt input. The MP2629 will disconnect from the output because we are below the input voltage required. I'll set it to 5.3 volts. Now I'll click the write all button to write to the register. As you can see, our load has shut off. Let's change the VN minimum back to four volts and write all. There are many other features that you can adjust on the MP2629 to fit your needs. And that's it for our unboxing. If you'd like more information or have any questions, head on over to our website at www.monolithicpower.com. You can also send us an email at mpsnow at monolithicpower.com where a technical expert from MPS Now team can get in touch with you and help you out. Thanks and talk to you guys soon.